Hey everyone, Tenji here. Well, we're into our third week of time walking, and I've been having a pretty good time with these. The Legion ones aren't as fun as the last two have been, but I'm still getting some levels done on some characters, so that's kind of cool. But besides hitting lots of time walking, I did make it into my normal farming stuff, so let's give them a rundown. So the first thing I wanted to do this week was farm up the gooey snail mental. He's pretty simple to get. There is a mini boss that spawns up by the frost stone vault, which is located in the new forbidden reach zone. His spawn time is every two hours, and if you kill him, you have a chance at receiving leftover elemental slime. You collect 50 of those, and then you just right click to combine them, and the mount is yours. This is just another snail mount, but the coloring on it was kind of unique, and I did like it. So this week I started off a little different. You see, I still need the Tusk of Manoroth's shoulders from Siege of Ogamar. I normally do all my farming on my main character, Tenja, but Dragonflight has had my bag so extremely full, I wouldn't have enough room to loot everything in Siege of Ogamar if I ran it on him. So I got on my Void Elf and actually did it for the first time in months. From my previous attempts, I'm probably near 100 attempts at these shoulders. But since I don't have an add-on that keeps track of my attempts on the shoulders real well, we'll just say this is my first attempt on a new character. So with the new stuff out of the way, I headed back to my old routine. And first up was of course Antorus the Burning Throne on Mythic. I still need the red sight of the Unmaker out of there. So I headed inside, worked my way back to Argus the Unmaker, and I got attempt number 57 on this transmog item. And again this week, it didn't drop for me, so I'll have to try one more week. So after getting skunked again in Antorus, I headed over to Mythic Nighthold. I worked my way back to Gold'an, got my kill, and got attempt number 47 on the Mount Hellfire Inferno. And I'll be coming back here next week because I didn't see it drop either. So with two of my three raids giving me no luck so far, I headed up to Oldar. I headed inside, worked my way back to Yogg Saran, and got attempt number 40 on the Mount Mimran's head. And just like my last two raids, this one was a bust also. So there's at least one more week of coming back here. Well, with my raids out of the way, I figured it was time to head over to Battle for Azeroth and do my Mythic 5-man dungeons. And since I do it on Alliance, the first one I head to is Freehold. I headed over to Freehold, made my way inside, and got attempt number 48 on the Mount Sharkbait. And this week I had no luck with this either, so I'll at least have one more week of coming back here. So after I struck out in Freehold, I made my way over to King's Rest, worked my way back to the final boss in there, took him down, and I got attempt number 40 on the Mount Tombstalker. But again, I didn't see this one drop, so it's another one I'll have to come back to next week. Now all I had was one five-man mythic left to do, and that is the Underrot. So I made my way up to the Underrot, worked my way back to the final boss in there, I took him down and got attempt number 12 on the Mount Underrot Krog. 12 attempts are super low, so I didn't expect to see this one this week, but you have to start somewhere. So of course I'll be doing this one again next week also. So last up on my list was the Pandaren World bosses. I went over and did Nalak since I'm still only solo farming him, and I got attempt number 218 on the Mount Thundering Cobalt Cloud Serpent this week. He didn't drop, so I'll be doing him again next week also. So this left me with just one world boss to go, and that's the Shah of Anger. I'm doing this with a multi-character farm, so I take 13 characters over there, one of each class every week and try. But let's take a look at them, and I'll see you on the other side. Strike! <laughs> yes, 
Yes! Bring your rage to bear! Try to strike! <laughs> So with all 13 characters and some bonus rolls, that got me up to attempt number 307 on the Mount Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent. I didn't see it drop, so we'll be doing this again next week too. And finally we'll look at the armors that I'm wearing this week. This one is the battle plate of the prehistoric Marauder. It drops in Siege of Okamar. It's available in a Raid Finder, a Normal, and a Mythic version. So if it's something you're looking for, the only thing you'll have to do is commit a little time to it, and you should have it fairly fast. And hey, if you had some good luck this week, tell me about it in the comment section. I always like to hear about it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. You can click on subscribe. Thanks for coming by and watching it. I'd like to send a hi out to my best friend, and you all take care.